I vaguely remember the course of the evening last night. A lot happened. I was reading a book about a man who falls in love with a fish. It is his truly beloved fish, and I think of you, and I try to draw parallels between you and the fish, and so somehow, we would back up whether or not you love me by how much you look like a fish. The room was bleeding last night, and I found myself in knight's armor, with long braided hair, screaming in German as you lay dead by my feet. Something about evil or something. And I drink the blood and scream, and my teeth grow long, and now I'm sucking on your neck, and you bite my nipple and drink the blood, and I've never felt so good in my life, until suddenly I'm being chased to the top of a hill. I feel a stake in my chest. Last night I was writing songs in my head, it was all there. Even the accompanying violin and that strange instrument where you must get your whole body inside it and zip it up all around you and it turns to brass and you just put your lips through a hole and sing or whistle or something. It was all there. And I was dancing naked on coals and you were watching me. Give me that smirk that you always give. But I don't understand. Am I your egg or your African prince? Do I fit nicely into your reusable lunch bag next to your iced tea and your banana? I don't know. For you are the mute goddess dancing across my ceiling, being careful not to burn your toes in the light bulbs. And somewhere in the back of my brain I can hear you singing, serenading me with flowers in your vocal cords and boxes of candy taped to your body. So I stumble out of bed towards your picture like a knight on a crusade, and it's still you, the person I know in my mind who can sing and dance, and I'm reassured that the last year of my life wasn't all a dream.